An award-winning historic inn is open again in Christiansburg. We take you on a day's drive to the Oaks Victorian Inn Boutique to get a peek inside and meet the new owners. Just two miles off I-81 at Route 8 in Christiansburg. It's a landmark for the community. You'll find a beautiful Queen Anne Victorian sitting atop the town's highest hill. The Oaks was originally the home of Major William H. Pierce, a local insurance executive and landowner. It's quite the love story, actually. He built this home as a wedding gift for his bride, Julia. It was built way back in 1893 is when it was completed. It took four years to build. The couple raised seven children in this home. So we found a, a, a box of photographs in the basement. And Julia lived here until her death in 1968. She lived here to be uh, almost 99 years old, So, but we also learned that her sister Florence lived here as well, and Florence was a real prominent name in the area. Um, she wrote the alma mater for Radford University, and she was also head of the music department. The home has since switched ownership and opened and closed a bed and breakfast, but true love has a way of continuing its course. <laughs> Insert the Megenheimers. They've been married 26 years. Shannon grew up near the Oaks. I would always say, let's go to the princess house, mom. So when this house came on the market, her curiosity got the best of her. It was one of those dreams that, you know, I always wondered what it truly looked like inside. And it was for sale. Came through and, and got on the phone really quick with Jason, who was still in Oregon, and said, hey, I think we can do this and um, we can save this house. And that was um, how it just happened. Tell me your perspective on it. <laughs> so you're at home. Well, I'm at home and she's supposed to be here visiting with family and she's out <laughs> looking at houses. Jason agreed. I just said, you know, if, if it feels right, if you feel like we can do this, let's go for it. Let's try. Allowing his wife to become the princess she'd always envisioned. Minus the sweat. When we first got here, I didn't realize how many steps are in this house until I carried my suitcase up the stairs for the first yeah, time. 33. Like, oh. <laughs> 33 steps. They moved in in May and opened the Oaks Victorian Inn Boutique in August. And within two hours, we were getting reservations for 2022. And we were going, what? They live on the top floor and rent out five rooms on the floors below them, each with its own bathroom. There's also a garden cottage out back. You're being able to step into the luxury of a, of a, of a beautiful Victorian home that has history, but also we've added high-end amenities, brand new bedding, um, we've changed the air system. It feels like you truly are stepping back in time and in a clean, safe um, environment. Now, if you come to stay in this 5,500 square foot home, you're promised a complete pampering. We want to give that five-star service. Everything from your choice of pillow. So there's a medium firm. To handmade soap. We have different flavors and smells that are um, uh, uh, goat's milk quality. Jason offers up his barista skills, <laughs> while Shannon bakes homemade treats for each stay. So it's safe to say a labor of love continues to sway the overall feel of this dreamy place, almost as if it was meant to be. A different couple. We're kind of pinching ourselves to see that we're actually here in the home of their dreams.